Okay, welcome. This is another video and um, what I'm going to be doing now is factoring this, uh, a similar trinomial but when there's a negative involved. So I think this is important for you to be able to see both, um, both types and how the, the steps really are the same um, in, in both situations. All right, first step. We are going to multiply the leading coefficient by the constant. Now, please note that the directions are to factor. And remember, factoring means turning something into um, something times something, or something times something times something, right? And right now, this is something plus something plus a minus something. So it's not factored. So let's go ahead and do step one, and I'll do it in color. Um, col I'll color code it. Multiply the leading coefficient by the last number, which is the constant. So here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and write, uh, excuse me, that's 30. Now, let me back this off a little bit here. Whoops, come on. There we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and write, the, replace the constant with the product. In other words, let's write it again. And instead of 15, we're putting the 30. Okay, so we've got the blue step completed. Replace the constant with the new product. All right, let's move to the green step. We're going to factor this the easy way. The reason we get to do that is there's nothing sitting in front of x squared. There's no leading coefficient, okay? Or the leading coefficient is understood to be a 1. When the leading coefficient is understood to be a 1, then we can do the f easy factoring. So here we go. Oops, whoa, hello. That was weird. All right, so I'm going to break it into x times x. And now, because there's a minus at the end, I know, and I don't have to look at the front, if there's a minus at the end, I know that these are going to be opposite signs. Opposite. Now, I'm not putting a plus minus because there's a plus minus. I'm putting a plus minus because I just have to put opposites. If the last one's a minus, they must be opposite. So let me just prove it to you by doing this. I didn't mean to erase that. I'm going to go ahead and put minus plus. In other words, the bottom line is they must be opposite signs if the last one is a minus. Okay? So it doesn't matter where you put the plus and the minus, they must be opposites. Now, the next step is to um, go ahead and write my 30. And we already did this in the other video, but let's go ahead. Uh, 2 and 15. We want to go in order, 3 and 10, and so we don't miss any 5 and 6. Now, it, because those signs are opposite, I'm going to subtract to uh, find two numbers that subtract to the middle number. In the previous video, we found two numbers that added to the middle because the signs were matching. Okay, so I'm look, look, going to look for two factors that subtract, and this time it's the 2 and the 15. Now, if I put the 2 here and the 15 here, what's going to happen is I'm going to have a negative 2x and a plus 15x, and that's going to give me a positive 13x. So that is the correct way to do it. But watch the other option because you it does matter. Goodness gracious, I'm having some uh, digitizer issues today here. Hold on, there we go. So it does matter where you put the big one and the small one if we're dealing with this minus at the end. So watch if, what if I put the 2 here and the 15 here. Okay, now I'm going to just do the outers and the inners to check my foiling. So outers are positive 2x. Outers, multiply the outer 2 together. And then the inner 2, negative 15x, and that's going to give me a negative 13x. Well, my original, my blue version is a positive 13 instead of a negative. So this is not the right way to put those. Um, that's not the right way to factor that. So what I'm going to do is put the... 15 here and the 2 here. Now, if you want to, to have a, an easy thing to memorize, I don't like to memorize in math, but if you really are a memorizer and uh, you want to do that, you're going to put the large number with the sign of the middle term. So look at the middle term here. The middle term is positive 13x, so we're going to put the big number of 15 with the positive, okay? And that's going to work when we try to go back to the blue level. Now, we're not trying to go back to the black 
this thing is not going to foil or multiply together and give me the black. We're not there yet. We're going to just make sure it goes to the, back to the line above in this step, in the green step. And it does. So we're ready for the gray step. The gray step is divide by the original leading coefficient. The original leading coefficient was 2, so I'm going to divide by 2. There it is. All right, now we're going to go to the black step, which is to now simplify the fractions. So this turns into x minus 1, and this doesn't simplify. So we don't do anything but just write it again. Okay, so now I have to go in here and find my handy-dandy orange that I'd like to use. And so now for the bring the bottoms up, I'm going to go ahead and take my 2, and bring it around and put it in front of the x, in front of the x. So there's 2x plus 15. I've got a bold uh, tip on this one. And then this is just x minus 1. Now, we are going to check it by multiplying firsts, outers, inners, lasts, foil. Here we go. Firsts, x times 2x is 2x squared. Outers is plus 15x inners is minus 2x, and lasts is minus 15. If I combine my like terms, I get my original trinomial, and I know that my factoring, the factoring, which is, whoa, which is right here, my factoring, which is right here, something times something, I know that it's correct. So let me highlight that for you. I know that my factoring is right here. That's the factored form. x minus 1 times 2x plus 15. And so that was a very different answer than we got on our previous uh, video. So the factoring is uh, totally different. So I hope this helped and uh, if you need to go look at the other video and uh, compare and contrast the rules. Thanks a bunch.